Right, still on 130. I'm uh, taking a little dash of river on private property, and the river's up oh, a lot higher than it was the last time I fished here. It's more weather coming in. Uh, I should have come up earlier, I suppose. Probably an hour and a half ago, but I can see it's getting really black over the back. So um, tomorrow's going to be worse. It's going to be really windy tomorrow. At the moment, we've only got about a uh, 10 to 12 knot breeze blowing, but tomorrow's going to be well in, in the mid 20s. So I thought I'll, if I can get an hour in, I'll be pretty happy. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go here. I'm starting off with the aglia, the aglia fluoro in the um, or micro pigment in the rainbow trout pattern, same one I used up here the other day. And we'll see how that goes. There we are, we just got our first brown. Nice, tucky little fella. Pretty well hooked too. That's taking the first cast, running a little bit of fast water there, the flat water on the edge. And I just brought it back and let it drift down through there. And this fella came up and grabbed it. Got no landing net today. I've just bought a, a, a waterproof vest because it's, uh, it's already starting to rain now. So now how long I'll be in the river. So we'll get this little fella off and let him go. Alright, he's all good. We're going to put him back in the drink now. Let him go on his way. This truck just went over the bridge. The wind's picking up, starting to howl, and the rain's getting heavier, so I've got to move on quick. Our very next cast, straight up into there, and we've got another one. Nice little fat one, too. A little bit bigger than the last one. It'd be, uh, oh, probably just on 300 gram. Lovely, beautiful fish. So we'll get him off, let him go. Right, there we go. Anyway, two. Lovely. And also, I meant, forgot to mention that first bit of footage you saw there where I said I started fishing. I actually had a hit and a miss on the first cast there. So, uh, yeah, it's looking good. And I get a bit worried when it starts off so fast, though, so, because it can give you high hopes and then the wheels fall off. But we'll push on. Today could be the day. Uh, this is a stretch of water you would have thought there'd been a trout in <laughs> but haven't seen but two in that little shallow shallow water taking out little flat waters off the side off the side of each each um, side of the river bank and uh, yeah now nothing not a sign of a trout or a hit and a miss or nothing here actually I'm in water up here nearly to my waist at the moment it's really dug out here it's, uh, I just have to get up right over to this river bank yeah so Anyway, I'm going to keep working my way up through here, see how we go. I oh, just had a hit and a miss here. Very first cast in that bit of water. I, uh, I bypassed all that down there. It's uh, too fast and too deep. And just had a scam my way down, down the side of this riverbank here where they packed it up to stop it soil eroding from when it, when it floods here. So, yeah, we'll keep, we'll push on. It's a bit of a deep hole here where I can cross over to the left here make my way up along that side and then you cross back over again up further so we'll continue on oh, rain's setting again but it's gonna i think it's gonna pass pretty soon it's uh still no sign of the fish well, since i had that first hit that hit and miss back there another stretch of water i haven't haven't seen a fish since but i'm gonna go a bit further here but i probably won't really go too far as there's um sheep up there and lambs and that so i don't want to go having them scattering and going in a panic mode. So I'll head back and go try another spot down, a bit further down. Alright, pretty pretty. walk three quarters of a kilometre down the road from where I parked the car once I got out the river again. And uh, I hopped in here, I'm just going to have a little fish my way up under this little dirt road bridge here and fish my way back to the car. Um, they said there's a chance of thunderstorms and except for coming in today and I just, it's got dark as I got down in this sky's um, yeah, she's really going black up through there. Bit of blue in there, there but it's uh, really coming in pretty, pretty heavy. So uh, it's maybe a pretty fast spin session to finish the day off, I think. And we got one. Got a third one on. He's holding deep. It's not big. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a solid one. Nice fish. He's about fraction smaller than the second one, of course. They're beautiful colours. Glorious colours in it. Uh, yeah, and that was taken right of the 
Right, that little eddy there, that flat water next to that, where that fast water's running. So it's maybe in a good mood to come come out there. And this is this first little pocket of water I'm fishing is where I caught my last trout of the the um, trout season last year and closing day finished up in here. The colours in that fish. Absolutely magnificent. Anyway, we're gonna let him go. Don't forget guys, when you're handling trout, before you handle them, always wet your hands. Gonna handle them and then put them back. And I had to do it today anyway because I haven't got my landing net, but even with the landing net, you still gotta handle them and get them out or unhook them. So yeah, make sure you wet your hands. And don't forget to um, just run your little sharpening stone over your trebles after every second or third fish just to keep them, um, keep them nice and sharp. Because I just done mine after the second one today because the little rocky rivers, a little bottom bouncing, and it, uh, yeah, you can just take the Take the edge off the off the travel. Oh, I just hooked and lost one here. You know, he, real aggressive attack too. He left about three foot out the water. He went one way, my lure went the other. Uh, nearly had four. Uh, just hooked and lost, lost another another one here. Um, and that's the trouble when you, these little narrow streams. When you're casting it straight upstream, directly upstream, and you bring the lure down with a flow, and they just they come down at it, have a grab at it on the turn, and you either you either get them in the jaw, or you get them in the lip, or they don't, they just miss the treble altogether and bump the lure. So, but that's part of drought fishing little streams, and um, you know, like casting upstream and bringing it straight down, directly back down towards you. You get them or you don't. And that's a good thing about it. It's all fun and games. The reel's doing a good job again today. Beautifully well balanced with the Akuma Cello Finesse Ultralight Spin 1 to 3 kilo rod. And yeah, it's a beautiful setup. And uh, got the brown brown platypus on this one today, 4 pound. Very ultra thin. Rain set in again now, so I have to move along a bit faster. I'm probably uh, oh, two thirds of the way to the car now, so I haven't got that much food to, to fish down. I'll be out and Back in the warm car. It's damn cold. It was only 7.6 um, 7, 7 degrees when I left home. I think it's a lot colder than that now. Uh, decent fish. Look at the size of this fish for this little stream. Hey, look at this fella. That's a beauty. I mean, this the occasional one you do get in these rivers can be this size. And I haven't got a bloody land in that. So I'll have to. He's pretty well hooked in that jaw. So I'm going to have to run him up to the bank here and then get him up onto the bank. It's a uh, beautiful fish, six, seven hundred kilo uh, gram fish, this fella. And we'll get him up. And he's taken right from behind that rock there. So, uh, yeah, let's get him in and uh, let him rest him up and then we'll get him back in the drink. Well, he's on the bank. Just got to unhook him. I've luckily, I think I've got I've got scales here, but I'm not going to weigh him because um, I haven't got the net to weigh him in. So yeah, so looking at him, he'd be um, probably I'd say 600 grams easy. We'd put him down as that anyway. It could be even a bit more. But anyway, I'll get him back. Yeah, we buy him. He's pretty good now. He's off. Gone like a bullet. Beautiful. Made the day. And it's pelting down, that rain's heavy as shit. Wish I had a jumper on under this jacket. But, uh, ah, it's worth, worth getting cold and wet for. So I just cast into that flat water right by that river bank there. As I was bringing the lure down, I just felt this weight, just felt like my line went through a bit of wind, had a bit of weed sitting on the end of it. And what it was, it was a trout that come up, just put its mouth over the end of the trebles, swam along here with it. And as I went to lift the lure out of the water, he just jumped and let it go. He never had, had never swallowed the treble. Never had his mouth over the, over the treble. There wasn't a thing I could do about it. Amazing. Right. Well, it turned out to be a pretty good session, was it? Uh, 3.30 now. It was 1.30 when I got in the river. Only spent three quarters of an hour upstream. And I hooked um, 
for two trout in six minutes or seven minutes. And I thought, well, I'll great start here. Then uh, had a hit and a miss, and that was it. And uh, so I decided to get out and walk, walk, walk back to the car, and then walk about three quarters of a kilometre or so down the, down into the, and hop in the river down further, and um, finish up getting another two there. And the last one was the fish of the day, but I had also had um, four other hookups down here and lost every one of them. So you know, what could have been a good, a good two-hour session. Um, turned out to be pretty average, really, just the four. But the highlight was was the 600 grammer at the end of the day, the the fourth trout. So it's a good way to top the day off, really. Um, yeah. So first trip out, I got two trout. Second trip out, I got three trout. Today, third trip, got four trout. So yeah, two, three, and four. So hopefully the next trip will be five and then six and we'll build up. <laughs> so until next time guys, tight line.